When creating the music for Lair, an epic game where dragons fill the skies and scorch the earth, the development team knew they needed a composer who could capture the essence of the game with a dynamic score. Our composer on this title was John Debney, and he was fantastic to work with. He's well known for his movie scores. Let's take everything up one dynamic in the strings only. He did Sin City and Passion of the Christ, and we were just really excited to work with him. Well, I was first approached by my agent. He asked me, have you ever considered doing a video game? And I said, I'd love to do one. Tell me about it. Lair setting is a world in chaos, and you are part of a Top Gun squadron of Dragon Riders. It was so inspiring to me personally, um, writing the music to this game. Truly, the story inspired me, the visuals inspired me, the conceptual art was just brilliant. It was great. This world is so unique, and yet it's not so foreign that we can't feel the same emotions that the characters are feeling. There hasn't been bloodshed like this for centuries. Some of them had never even seen battle. But unlike many game soundtracks, the team wanted the music to not just play in the background, but to help tell the story. We wanted to have more of an operatic approach to the score itself, so it's more of an overarching music composition where we have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Act one is more a cilian, a sort of high civilization. Act two, then, we move into the Mokai, so it becomes a little more ethnic in nature. Act three, we have a blending of, of the two things, of the high culture of the Sicilians and the very, very earthy feeling of the Mokai. So we have the music that mirrors the story. It just brings a whole new level to the experience that we're giving to the player. After months of hard work, the team came to London to record some of the greatest musicians in the world at the famed Abbey Road Studios. Today we recorded a 75-piece band, pretty much the full array of everything that you could ask for. I, I've had many directors that have asked me, well, why do we need to go to a scoring stage? And I said, well, you'll find out. John sends us mock-ups uh, in synth format of uh, different vocalists, different instruments. The synth tracks are like a black and white snapshot of what the color photograph will be. And the great thing is when you're working with a creative team that maybe haven't experienced the energy and power of the live orchestra. And to see their faces, uh, literally it's just sort of an epiphany of, oh my gosh. You get this full sound that you just can't get anywhere else and it's just been an amazing experience recording here. A human being, um, whether they're playing a, a violin or they're playing a trumpet, they're using both their emotion and their technique. Synthesizers, it's all digital. So while I think that synthesized sounds are getting better and better, there's still a human element. And I would bemoan the day that we're all just creating things in a box because this is the magic. 